How's it going everybody? This is Be The Bush. Today I'm going to compare these two thermal cameras, the Thor 01 and also the Flare E8 Pro. I've been using Thermal Master infrared cameras exclusively in my videos for a very long time. The one I use right now is this tiny little one with a macro lens attachment. This fits in the lightning port going this way or you can flip it around and it goes the other way. But the problem with these guys is that it seems a little bit fragile because all that's connecting to the phone is just a lightning port. I've actually never had an issue with these breaking. I've been using it for years, but if you need more ruggedness, you might want to go with this form factor where it can survive drops up to two meters, has its own screen, has its own battery. I used to own a Flare E8 and the major factor that made me sell it was because it does not record video right on the device. That and that it's really expensive. I don't want to hold on to such a thing. And it's just kind of bulky all the way around. MSRP, this one is $600 versus $3,000 or five times as much. It certainly does not have five times as much performance. I would say it doesn't even have 50% more performance. First, we're gonna compare the video looking at my ceiling. Notice in the E8 Pro, the maximum reads 85.1 degrees. Whereas on the Thor 01, the maximum is 90.8. The E8's hotspot on the screen is not a single point. It's like a little circle. Whereas on the Thor 01, the spot is much smaller, almost like a single pixel. Because of this is averaging across that area. So it's likely giving a a lower maximum than on the Thor 01. Look at the center over here where it's kind of purple. It's kind of spotty. Whereas on the Thor 01, it looks like there's less noise. These little spots, I'm almost certain it's not there in real life. So this is an artifact of the image sensor inside the E8 Pro. This is the insulation in my roof and some heat is leaking through, through the roof. 25 Hertz refresh rate on the Thor 01, 9 Hertz refresh rate on the E8 Pro. Watch what happens when there's movement in the video. There's noticeable lag in the E8 Pro. However, on the Thor 01, it tracks it as if it's real time. The minimum focus distance on the E8 Pro is about 14.2 inches. The Thor 01 has a macro lens that can get down to 3.1 inches, so you can see a lot more detail for close-up stuff like PC boards. If I'm about four inches away, everything's kind of blurry. We do see the maximum at 154 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's not quite clear where it is. With the Thor macro lens, look at that, it's like day and night. You can see every single component, including the cooler resistors over here is the really hot chip. It's 162 degrees Fahrenheit now. I'm gonna press and hold the trigger so you can record some video. I can move it over here to the heat sink itself. Uh, let's see how hot it gets in there with the maximum 160 as well. And then maybe at the terminals, the center point is 100. 80 degrees at these little wires that's coming in. This is around three inches. So if you go to like, let's say eight inches away, you start to want to remove the macro lens. So I'm gonna remove it, just pop it off and we can see much more clearly further away. Now we're gonna check the heat leakage on my water heater with both of these. In this view, the maximum on the E8 Pro is 102, but the Thor 01 can sense that there's something 109 degrees at the bottom. This is not a mistake, it just has higher resolution sensing because that little sliver is very narrow and the E8 Pro is kind of averaging over more pixels. So it's not picking up on like a little dot that's very hot. Also notice that I have every Everything within view holding at this distance. The Thor 01 is kind of like a wider angle so you can get closer up about that much and it'll show about the same amount of stuff on the screen. This means the Thor 01 you can get up a little bit closer if there are space constraints. Let me take a picture on both of them and we can compare them side by side. The left picture is the Flare E8 Pro. Notice that it only shows the maximum temperature of 102 degrees Fahrenheit. It also mistakenly see that the outlet pipe is the hottest whereas in reality the hottest spot is at the exhaust vent at the bottom. The Thor 01 shows this correctly where the maximum is 112.6 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a minimum right on that exhaust vent which is likely incorrect because of the reflection. They both have visual image blending turned on and to me the flare actually has the visual data overlap slightly incorrectly. The steps to match the visual data to the infrared data is kind of not granular enough so you're kind of looking at a double image whereas on the Thor it seems like you're looking at only one single image. I'm going to take a look at this garage door sensor and also the AC adapter right here. You can see that glowing dot in the middle. 95 degrees on the Thor 01, 86.5 on the E8 Pro. Both of them will sense things a little hot. You'll notice that this image on the Thor 01 is not mixed in with visual image. We can do that by clicking the center button, go to image mode, change from IR, visual, 
Fusion, which is not exactly the same as the Flare MSX software. You can see a little bit more colors here, whereas it's a bit more purple on the E8 Pro. The image mode can also go to picture in picture and fusion alignment. This is the same thing as changing the distance. Move it so that the fusion lines up with each other. The Flare also has image modes, thermal MSX, which is basically fusion, thermal only. So here you can't see the colors or the box outline. It also has picture in picture mode and the digital camera, which is just the visual image. So it's the same on both of them, four different modes for the visual. For the measurement modes, I can turn on the center spot, the max and the min all at the same time. The center is here showing the temperature up there in the middle. And then there's the max and min on the upper left corner. For the EA Pro, you have to select the center spot, hot spot or cold spot, but not all three. There is an additional hot spot spot that will show you the maximum within the box. Comparing the color palettes, that's possible. On the Thor 01, you can do white hot, black hot, lava, iron, rainbow, rainbow HC, red and gray, warning red, warning blue, and that's it. So nine total. On the EA Pro, you can do iron, rainbow, rainbow high contrast, white hot, black hot, arctic, lava, above alarm, and below alarm. Also nine different color palettes. The Thor 01 weighs one pound, nine ounces. The Flare EA Pro weighs one pound, 5.5 ounces. However, if you add the battery capacity that's built into the Thor 01, it becomes about the same weight at one pound, 8.5 ounces. Sizing wise, the Thor 01 is a little bit bigger. The screen size is the same in both of them. However, the Thermal Master is a little bit chunkier. If you look at the thermal camera ports, there's one extra piece right here. This is just a built-in flashlight. You can push it and we can see it turn on. Both of them have a camera sliding protector. I'm going to time how long it takes each one to start up. For the Thermal Master, you have to hold the button for two seconds, let it go before it will initiate startup. For the EA Pro, it starts as soon as you push the button. So there's a little bit of difference in how it starts. I'm going to time it in terms of the initial press. And then after I initially press it, I'm going to let this one go right away. Leave my finger on this for two seconds and then let go. Ready, set, go. There's a startup screen on the Thor 01. The thermal image is usable right now, but there's no readout right now. And then this one is ready at 18 seconds, 19, 20, 21, 22, and it's ready. The turn off time is not as critical, but I'm gonna turn it off. Right there, E8 Pro turns off almost right away. This one has a ending screen. For charging the Thor 01, you lift open the top flap, plug in a USB-C cable, and plug it into a USB-A port that's not included. If you're out of power, you have to leave this charging, so you can't actually use the product while it's charging. The Flare E8 Pro has a separate charger for the detachable battery. If you run out of battery, you can potentially just swap it and have the other one charge, allowing you to continuously use this thing. At the bottom, there are two screw holes. If you open them up and pull the end off, behind it, there are two additional screws. Let me remove those and see if I can get access to the battery. Trying it from this point is the best rather than through the edge or else you'll damage this plastic. There is a cylindrical lithium ion 3.6 volt 4800 milliamp hour battery. It is possible to replace this, but it seems like prying this part, it's a little bit harder than just this handle. I'm not gonna do that until I really need to change it so I won't damage any of the tabs. But when absolutely necessary, you can buy those cylindrical cells and replace it. Attach your tripod plate to the bottom, then mount it on your favorite tripod. Now you can record very steady video or pictures. On the E8 Pro, there's no camera mount point, so you're just gonna have to hold it steadily with your hand. I recommended Thermal Master's infrared cameras before simply because it has 25 hertz refresh rate compared to the nine. Just based on that, it's just a no brainer. But the only thing that might stop some people from getting the Thermal Master is the form factor. It might not be as rugged. With the Thor 01, there's no question anymore, unless you really don't like the slightly bigger design, roughly the same battery endurance. With the Thor 01, even though it has lower infrared resolution with the X3 upscaling, it actually looks very sharp in most of the cases. Native recording right on the device, 
no recording whatsoever unless you tether it to a laptop. And lastly, a very short focus distance of only 3.1 inches with the macro lens. This one does not come with a macro lens and the focus distance is 14 inches. You also need to pull this back a little bit more so it's not as good for tight spaces because the Thor 01 has a wider lens. The Thor 01 is around 20% of the cost of the E8 Pro. I actually don't know who would actually buy this anymore if you know that this one exists. After watching this video, if you're still going to buy the EA Pro, please, please let me know why in the comments down below. Thermal Master sells a Thor 1 and a Thor 2. Thor 1 is a little bit more premium, has higher accuracy, comes with a macro lens. Thor 1 has an accuracy of plus or minus 1.5 degrees C or 1.5% of the reading. Thor 2 is just a little bit worse in accuracy of plus or minus 2 degrees C or 2% of the reading. There is a slight difference with the spot meter where Thor 1 has six custom spots, where Thor 2 has three custom spots. And the color palettes in the Thor 1 has high temperature highlight and low temperature highlight, whereas the Thor 2 does not, but it still has the rest. The Thor 2 still has 25 hertz refresh rate, the same infrared native resolution, the same screen. So if you do not need the highest accuracy, Thor 2 is about one third less than Thor 1, giving you really good value. Otherwise, check out my affiliate link for the Thor 01 down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. <music>